Indian and Chinese forces have begun disengaging from two contentious areas along the LAC in Ladakh. Defense officials have uh, said uh, Indian troops are reportedly withdrawing equipment to rear positions as part of an agreed-upon de-escalation effort. The two friction points are Demchok and Depsang plains in eastern Ladakh sector. Remember, this followed uh, days after the two sides finalized an agreement concerning patrolling and troop disengagement along the line of actual control, marking a key breakthrough in the four-year-long border standoff. Prime Minister Modi had met with Chinese President Xi Jinping for the first time since the standoff first began in June 2020. The two leaders had met on the sidelines of the BRICS summit in Russia. These are the latest updates uh, we are tracking for you. Where clearly, of course, uh, troop disengagement is now going to be taking place on ground. And, uh, of course, this follows a big announcement by both sides to disengage. And, uh, of course, now we are learning on ground that disengagement has begun at certain friction points. Mendi Garg is joining us for more details on this story. Mendi, uh, what is the situation on ground now in LAC? Well, the big developments are coming from the line of actual control because the disengagement of Indian and Chinese troops at uh, two key friction points, uh, Demchok and Demstang planes, have uh, marked a significant step in resolving the military standoff that has persisted in eastern Ladakh for over four years. And also, the, you know, this, this engagement is in line with the agreements uh, reached between the two countries, focusing on a phased pullback of forces and equipment from the LAC also. And also, uh, the withdrawal comes after extensive negotiations Negotiations over several weeks, signaling progress towards the reducing tensions along this disputed frontier. And also, they, you know, the standoff between the two nuclear-armed neighbors began in May 2020 following the clashes in the Galwan Valley, which resulted in the deaths of 20 Indian soldiers and an unspecified number of Chinese troops also. And, you know, the recent agreement that has been announced on October 21st, 2023, was highlighted by the Foreign Minister Vikram Mistry, in which uh, he has confirmed that the accord would allow for joint patrolling along the LAC and also restore peace in the affected areas and this disengagement process will include pulling back troops to rear positions and also reducing the risk of further confrontations and also opening the path to de-escalation in other contested uh, regions along the LAC. Uh, so the, while the uh, agreement represents a breakthrough, it also uh, puts some challenges because it remains that the overall normalization of relations uh, between the two countries and the strategic importance of the LAC and the high altitude terrain of Ladakh make the region a delicate flashpoint and also the ongoing dialogue and phased disengagement are expected to play a very critical role in restoring the trust and also maintaining stability between both the countries. So this development is seen as a diplomatic victory for both nations, emphasizing uh, the importance of negotiation and also the dialogue in uh, resolving complex territorial disputes also and the redu reduction of uh, True presence and the commitment to peaceful coexistence uh, reflect both sides' intention to avoid uh, further escalation and maintain uh, regional stability. Yes, sir. Absolutely, Mendi. And, uh, you know, this also comes, of course, very soon after Prime Minister Modi met with uh, 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 President Xi in uh, Kazan. Well, rightly said, because Prime Minister was on a visit in Russia to attend the BRICS summit and uh, the most highlighted meet between uh, uh, Pr uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the President Xi Jinping happened. And after that, uh, the big development started coming from the LEC and this agreement uh, that has happened, uh, the discussions that were, you know, uh, started long time back has come to a conclusion right now. And right now, it is a very uh, win for India and for China also in terms of the diplomatic relations between the both countries. Yes, sir. Mendigar, thank you very much for joining us with those updates. So disengagement has begun now at uh, Depsang and Demchok. This is the latest uh, we are tracking for you. And uh, clearly, of course, after both our uh, Prime Minister's uh, uh, heads of state rather met in uh, Kazan, now, of course, uh, action following on ground. Colonel Tyagi, defence expert, is joining us for more on this story. Colonel Tyagi, uh, what do you make of this big development uh, playing out on ground at the LAC? The, the, 
the development is decidedly a, a good gesture from both the countries. There is a, a boundary between, actually we, we do not have any boundary between China and India. It is between Tibet and India and that is about 3,500 kilometers. And there are about 65 friction points on which their perception is different, our perception is different. At places, we have got a perception that we are in their territory and the other way around, they have got a perception that they are in a territory. Nevertheless, because of these perceptions, right from 2020 after the Galwan, frictions are taking place, whether it is Doklam or Tawang or uh, Galwan. But China has been told in a language which China understands that we are now not of 1962, we are a new country, a new Bharat, and we resist in irrespective of the difference of proportions of forces, firepower, and strength. We are, uh, we are fighting China. Now, under these conditions, China has agreed to disengage from the places which were left. Actually, at Gogra Post, at uh, Pangong Lake, uh, and hot spring, there were five, six points where China had already disengaged. Dam Chok and Dam Chok, though they are legacy points, but here China was not uh, permitting Indian patrols to go into the buffer zone. Buffer zone means that zone on which neither of the country has got full rights and they cannot put their forces there. But the buffer zone, India was not allowed to patrol. Now they have allowed. Now they have allowed means they have agreed that, okay, both sides can do patrol. Yes. But it was on paper only. Today, we understand that it has started on ground. Now, even if it is started on ground, we should not be jubilant about it because this is just one part. After disengagement, we'll start de-escalation. And that is also one part. Because after de-escalation, demilitarization will start. And finally, when the troops go back to the barracks, then we will say that, yes, now the situation is fully... Absolutely. So uh, we have to wait and watch, of course, for that to take place. For the time being, Colonel Tyagi, thank you very much for joining us with your perspective on that story. Meanwhile, Executive